everybody. It is Sunday morning, December 12th, 10, 17-ish a.m. Um, Bob is downstairs getting dressed. I just had an interesting episode trying to find my house keys because I put them in a safe place. Yeah, anyway. Holy cow. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, December 13th. Uh, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> Let's go down the stairs. 10 something AM, I think. I have been um, up for a while. Woke up kind of early. Couldn't sleep. Just fine, just because, you know. Pretty too badly, we have two of three videos edited and the second one is rendering right now. I'll get the third one edited and then we'll get all of them loaded and scheduled to YouTube at the same time. I haven't done any of the written posts today yet uh, for the week, but I will get that done before the end of the day. I also have a big giant stack of bookkeeping to do. Yeah, I know. Um, table is semi-clean-ish, sort of. Yeah, anyway, I gotta check on the... Um, One experiment that's still drying. It's just still dry. It's taking forever to dry. Anyway, that video is one of the ones I have to edit, so I can't say more than that. Anyway, <sighs> I kind of move things around a little bit, I think, to make some room on the table because it's just a little bit overwhelming. All right. Good morning, yeah. everybody. It is, I don't know what time it is, 9.30ish, 9.40, something like that. A.M. Tuesday, December 14th? I don't know. Holes. I got it pretty much right. 9.39 a.m. Tuesday, December 14th. Um, anyway, as you can tell, we're out walking. I have a appointment this morning with a podiatrist. It is cold-ish out in that it is in the high 30s, but it's not raining and the sky's decently blue. So I'm going to go walking. I haven't been walking in like three days, I think. I've gotten about 4,000 steps every day for three days. That's the lowest step count I've had that many days in a row since I started my journey to be healthier. So I feel a little guilty about that. The podiatrist is about a mile away. My feet and knee aren't that bad. So I'm gonna walk over and back. So it's about two miles today. And then after work, unless it starts dumping again with rain, which it's not supposed to. Bob and I will go walking again tonight, about a mile and a half or so. So that should just about catch me up for all the lack of walking I did over the weekend. So anyway. Okay, Elite Foot and Ankle. They have a num number of offices in the Portland, Oregon area, highly recommend. Uh, I did indeed need new custom orthotics. Really not surprised. Mine are at least 12 years old, maybe older. And FYI, they're not supposed to squeak. And they kind of squeak. <laughs> um, he also says because of the knee and that I'm older, I need different kind of support um, from the custom orthotics. So he scanned my feet. Anybody who's had custom orthotics done, last time I did them, you had to step into a box to get the mold of your feet. He scanned him with the computer. That was weird. I wish I had had the phone out because I would have got footage of that. That was cool. Anyway.
guys, it is late in the day. Well, late-ish in the day. It's like 5 something p.m. But I'm in the Pacific Northwest. It's already black as pitch outside. Like, can you see out the window? I don't know if you can. Let's see. How about that? There you go. It's completely dark outside. Anyway, so I took down the Lazy Susan that was over here that held a bunch of tools. It just wasn't working for me anymore. I moved all of my sort of reference material to the top of the shelf at the end of my table. I got a couple more of these clear plastic um, storage drawers that are intended for jewelry or cosmetics. I use them in the art room. And I put all of my art journaling tools, slow stitching tools, watercolor and um, gouache tools oh, and drawing. Um, those are what's on the table, organized and um, all the, uh, as you can see, all the drawers are labeled. Um, I put all of my paintbrushes I don't use for art journaling. I do have a lot of paintbrushes, but I put um, the nicer ones that aren't thrashed and falling apart. Like, I, it's a thing. Uh, anyway, they are now over here. So this whole, this is my art painting station. It's my water. This is my palette. It's usually not full of little tubes of paint, but I've pulled out a bunch of things I want to, oh, and there we go, that I want to use up. So that's, it's usually empty, but anyway. So I did that today. That was unexpected. And then I got my... Good morning, everyone. Does it appear dark? It's not your imagination. Although it's 8.06 a.m., it's still kind of grayish, darkish outside. And plus I live next to the trees. So as, as I pull away out of the driveway, you'll see it gets a little lighter. Anyway, we are up and out bright and early this morning because I have physical therapy. <laughs> Okay guys, it has been a little bit since I chatted with you all. It is after 5 p.m. in the evening. I spent the afternoon trying to help a friend with a website purchase from a website that wasn't mine, um, which was interesting. But anyway, uh, I got all the bookkeeping done for 2021 up to date. So all I have to do is uh, reconcile the last couple of weeks um, of the year and we're good to go. I can print out my profit and loss statement and give it to the tax man and I'm, I'm good. Um, I also spent the last couple of hours making slippers for my two great nephews. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I used to make slippers all the time for the babies in my daycare. Like that was like a standard Christmas gift. Everybody got a new pair of slippers and I made them out of fabric. Um, with the non-slip stuff on the bottom like that, um, which you can buy at the fabric store. And Beckett and Paxton will get matching slippers. Paxton is two. Beckett is like eight or nine months. So cute. I can't share the pattern with you all because to be honest, it's not my pattern. And um, I drafted it from a pair of slippers that my daughter had when she was little that I think somebody purchased or... They made, they made for her. I'm not sure where the slippers came from at this point. It was a long, almost 30 years ago. Um, and then I just took it and I made it into different sizes. But I'm sure you can find a slipper pattern online somewhere um, that is appropriate. But they're so cute to make. Um, I used to make them out of, you know, Bob's old jeans or, um, you know, whatever fabric I had laying around, repurposed old clothing. And the only thing I would buy is the non-skid fabric on the bottom. They do sell this by the yard generally. Of course, the supply chain being what it is. Right now, you can already only get the pre-cut pieces, which Dritz does sell. Um, 
and now I have a couple and it comes like this. Um, and it's made for the bottom of kids clothes, like pajamas and slippers and stuff. So I usually use denim or corduroy or something for the outside and flannel for the inside. And yeah, so anyway, that was cute. Uh, yeah, so now I think I'm gonna shut things down and go downstairs. I think it's, we're gonna go to Panda Express tonight. So I will get a super greens bowl and we're all good. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll good be morning, back. everybody. It is Thursday, December 16th, 9.07 a.m. I only know that because we're staring at the computer. I'm booting up right now. Um, uh, it's been already a productive morning. Um, obviously got myself dressed and showered, got my exercises done. I got the Christmas dishes out. We are, for those that don't know, we're doing an early um, holiday celebration with the kids on Saturday and my dad. Um, because um, the kids are all dispersing on Christmas actual day to go visit other different family members, and that's fine. Um, Bob and I are kind of getting used to just sitting back and just being the two of us on Christmas Day. I think we kind of actually like it. Sometimes we go for a drive. Sometimes we get pizza. Sometimes we make, like, something fancy, like Beef Wellington. Like, we can do whatever we want. One of these years, maybe after COVID is over, maybe we'll just like take off and go to Hawaii or something. I've vlogged anyway. since this morning, but I've been busy. <laughs> um, so I moved all the presents that were opening on Saturday with the kids over there. Um, I made uh, my journals to start off the new year for January. Those are all done and in my drawing bag over there, there. Um, I also have a cheesecake in the oven, so I do traditionally a New York style cheesecake. It is in the oven and cooking, and the dishes are washed, which is a miracle, because usually I get to cooking in the kitchen, and I forget to do basic things like empty the dishwasher first so it's full of clean dishes, and then, you know, it's, yeah, it's a thing. Anyway. Uh, but it's all done. So the dishes are done. Some things are drying. There we go. Uh, it's the one time that I use all the appliances, the KitchenAid and the food processor when I'm making cheesecake. Anyway, so that's all done and cooking. Bob has a lodge meeting tonight. That means we're probably not walking, but I'm not sure I'm going to have time before it's pitch black outside <laughs> to go walking. I don't like to walk by myself when it's dark outside. So um, we'll see when the cheesecake's done, if I, if it's still light out, my guess is it's not going to be, because it's still got 37 minutes and counting, and it's already 3.19 and sunset's around 4.30, I think, so, yeah, that's going to be a thing. It is what it is, what are you going to do? I'll make up for it tomorrow. All right, I think in the meantime, I'm going to have a snack put some loose recipes away that I literally just found right here, sack, and watch some YouTube, because why not? I'll be back it's about 10 minutes after four, and I've got a few minutes before it gets really dark. <laughs> so we're gonna go do some self-care and go for a walk. The cheesecake is done. Yeah, so we're gonna go see what we can see, try to get some steps in. There are some pretty colors in the sunset right now. If I can get in a good enough spot, we'll take a picture. And yeah. Just, yeah. Right? It's been another productive day, but hectic. Welcome to December. I'll good morning, everybody. It is 7.35 a.m. Friday, December 17th. I'm good excited. I've been up a while. I have physical therapy this morning. And so we are headed out to go do that. And then I'm going to stop at Dollar Tree on the way home. And I hope things are still a dollar because they're about to raise prices. Anyway, hey everybody, it is Saturday morning, September 18th. Uh, I don't know what time it is. I guess I should check. 49 a.m. My dad and Bob are on the way to Jenny and Brian's house. Grandpa needs to help them with a couple of handyman DIY projects. Um, this morning, so they're headed over to do that. And then come back here, and Grandpa's also going to help Bob with a car thing. So, 
Um, today is our family Christmas dinner and gift opening later this afternoon. So that it's gonna be a busy day. In the meantime, I'm home. I'm pretty much ready as I'm gonna be, at least for a couple of hours. So I am gonna take this opportunity to go on social media. I have to schedule some posts for the Facebook group. So I might just do the posts for the next two weeks so everything's scheduled out. And um, I need to update some Etsy listings and create a post describing what I'm doing for daily practice for the new year because I'm already getting questions asked about that. Doesn't surprise me and I probably should have done it a week or two ago. But anyway, we're gonna try to keep, take care of all that today while the guys are out doing handyman stuff and yeah, I'll be back. Fine. Of course, I spent 10 more minutes on the computer, but it's shut off now. I'm gonna go downstairs, finish fixing my hair, maybe put on a little makeup for the first time in a few weeks, and um, yeah, start getting the snacks ready, because we start with snacks, then we do gifts, then we do dinner, so it's a thing. All right, it's just a day of eating. Yeah, all right, I'll be back. It is after 10 o'clock at night on Saturday the 18th. It has been a long, happy, fun day filled with laughter and family, gifts, way too much food. <laughs> um, we did a early Christmas with all the kids and my dad came and my sister and her husband are here and they're upstairs and it has been a very fun day. Um, but I'm ready for bed so we're in my bathroom because I'm getting ready for bed because hello this is yeah. Anyway, um, I will insert some pictures here. We have the ugly Christmas sweater, and you can see some footage of the family sitting around the table and playing games, and we'll do that here. Anyway, however you spend your winter holidays, whatever holidays you celebrate, I hope you have a happy one. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Have a great week, have a great weekend, have a happy holiday, again, whichever one it is. And I'm gonna see you next week. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.